Hi guys. <laughs> welcome back to Roberts and Sally Acres. Waka waka. So the trio is back together again. Whoop whoop. <laughs> so it's kind of been hit and miss with us. Uh, Desi and I being able to be out here with uh, Rusty just because we're still fin finishing up school. We've got when we're recording today, we have two days left. So I was going to say, Desi, how many days do we have left of school? Two. <laughs> two days left. We're super excited. And then we will be able to be out here uh, full time. Uh, for sure, I will be out here with them full time and yes. getting it done. But we're at, to that point where we can start putting things back together. So we're really excited about that. Yeah. And what's Mel say? Putting foot to butt. Oh, foot to butt. <laughs> <laughs> so um, today, I think what we're going to do. We are fixing the. Tear out this wall right here. Uh, everything that we've been told and have I have read, it is non-load bearing. So fingers crossed, we're gonna get the cabinets out, take this wall out, and we're gonna test that theory. Yeah. Hopefully, guys. Hopefully that we can go ahead and get it. But in order to tear it down, we have to start in the kitchen and start tearing down the cabinets. Yes, we have to take the cabinets down. We have to take the uppers out. We have to pull the dishwasher out. Take the lower cabinets out. A lot of cutting, but we're going to get it taken care of. She's our comic relief. She thinks she's funny. <laughs> Alright, so it started. This is a good out across the water. I smell the song. But in my heart, I hear the call of my old home, Tennessee. No need to know where these rivers flow, or why the wind chooses when and where to blow. The sun is gone. Rachel's got a new hammer. 
start a collection of my own. All right, so I thought my phone was recording in time lapse, but it is dead. But you guys, that fire is burning way down. That's super exciting. Okay, as you can see, we've got this shelves and cabinets pulled down on this side. We'll go ahead and try to get this upper out of the way. And then I think what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try just to cut this seam and get this piece of countertop off here and possibly that corner cabinet. Pull that out of the way. That way we can get this whole wall exposed so we can go ahead and get the sheetrock off of it and see exactly what we're dealing with up here. All right, so now just to clean the mouse poop. Oh, lots of poop. It's back here. Yes. We're just kind of cheating a little. Well, we know this to about here is hollow behind it. Okay. Right. So probably you can go on the other side and push it. Yeah. Let me try that. Yeah. Let me get this lighter out of the way. Kick it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Is that the Kool Aid Man? Are you wearing red? I might be wearing red, but I'm too. I'm not as tough as the Kool Aid Man. Woo! What does the Kool Aid Man say? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Careful with the water line. There are two layers of sheetrock here. Oh, it's just on that. I think it's just on that. Oh, you need some shutters? Yeah. Maybe that's the lath. No? It's no, not lath. That's siding. That's siding. Oh. So this was an exterior wall. At some point. At some point. There's the rest of the siding. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. I better put my safety glasses back on this to like throw in stuff. Holy. Well, that would be why it's horizontal back on the back. Because that's all siding, isn't yep. it? So this right here. Oh, I thought it was horizontal, no. But this right here is siding, isn't it? Yep. That possibly is probably possibly load bearing if it's exterior wall. So we'll have to put some sort of brace in or something. To... Sorry, I'm not even. I'm watching you, and I'm not even. seems really janky though yeah to be load bearing yeah there's i mean look at all that wiggle in it if it was load <laughs> oh you're talking about the wall so all right <laughs> if it was load bearing you shouldn't have that much play in it i wouldn't think
So let's go check on this uh, fire. Oh yeah, that fire's doing good. It's burning way down. So since they came and took our uh, dumpster, we're just throwing everything out here until we get the next dumpster. To try and turn my in way. Okay guys, so I'm back out here this morning. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mix up this gallon of paint that we bought yesterday for this bathroom floor. I'm going to get my sprayer going. I know I could roll it, but it's just a lot quicker and easier. I'll go ahead and spray this, get that floor all sealed good, and then we'll get into the kitchen and make a few phone calls and see what's going on there. She told me that things was going to change. If I wanted her, I couldn't stay the same, so I stopped So there you have it. Like I said, quick and easy. That's about a half a gallon of paint. Did that whole floor. I went ahead and I sprayed all the way up on the bottom sill plate. A little bit of added protection. Never hurt anything. So I'm going to get this fan drug in here. Get it running. I'm going to clean this sprayer out. And I'll see you in the next job. Okay, guys. So I just got off the phone with Gary from Just Gems. This is with him about this wall. He said, this is not a load bearing wall. I have talked to him about the rafters. This is a modern truss system. All the weight is on the exterior wall, the north and south wall. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead, we got the sheetrock all pulled off this last night, but I'm gonna go ahead today and we're gonna pull this siding down and we're gonna get rid of these studs, open this sucker up so we can start kind of seeing what we're looking at and what kind of room we have to do. So, let's get the parents and stuff up. For the record, it can't be understated. Lord, I've been domesticated. Lord, I've been domesticated. All I do is stay at home. Okay guys, so like with any demo, demo, come across here and we got more of this fancy trim right up here that Rachel really likes. It goes all the way around this pantry. So, that's all great. The exception is, our wall is going to stop here. So, I'm gonna have to reach up here and cut this piece because when you get down there, they put the one buys over the top of the trim. So I'd have to take the one buys down, pull the trim, put the one buys back. Just a lot of extra steps. But for right now, I'm gonna use my uh, oscillating saw and we're gonna reach right up here and we're gonna trim this off, pull this short piece off the top of the door. And we can pull this paneling down and start exposing the rest of this wall. Yeah. 
Okay, so you can see we've got all the structure on the inside here. The issue we're running into is when they built this add-on, they went over the outside of the house. So, got to pull the rest of these, this 2x4 and 2x6 out of the corner there. The other issue I'm running into is right down here at the floor, those boards go underneath my floor. So I think I'm gonna try to take my time and use my orbital saw, and we're gonna try cutting those. I'm really trying to avoid having to take part of the floor up to get this wall out of there. But we'll figure it out one way or the other. Okay, so a little change of plan. Uh, the orbital saw just thinking to cut through this old wood. We're not very quick. I can do it, but we'll be here. I'm gonna take my
how are you? I'm living on the moon. I'm calling from a telephone inside of a saloon. The only other person here left me years ago. And now I sit here at the bar feeling so alone. difference there. Let's back it up here and get a full perspective of that. Yes, lots of room right here. Get these knocked out here real quick. Get that old door jam out of there. This will all be opened up to here. Going to have to wait on this one until we get in there and we can get them cabinets all pulled out and get that, that wall pulled down. We'll be able to get in there and knock that one out of there. Looks like I'm going to have to go down there. I'll probably have to just cut that. We'll lay some piece of plywood or something in there to, to replace that old wood. But we'll make it happen. Okay, you guys, so that's it for today. I'm going to continue messing with a little bit of stuff around here but if you like what you see hit that like button share with your friends leave us some comments you guys let us know what you think about what what we got going on and our progress so far but most of all don't forget to smash that bell and get notified of the next new video when it comes up till next time see ya